it's surgery time it's surgery time good day ladies today is november 29th and um i just called the hospital and i have the time for my surgery tomorrow and i am super duper excited and excited and also excited i never thought it would be so soon to have the surgery and do not get me wrong guys i am scared too i'm scared and i'm anxious and i want this done i want it done and i want it done a year ago so uh, i uh, made a video last week when i went to the hospital for a consult which was amazing. I really, really like it. I had a surgery done before. I didn't have that. I just went, talked to the doctor, and uh, there I went, and uh, that was that. But this time, I had a meeting with a uh, practitioner, and uh, a nurse practitioner, and uh, she um, she talked to me about everything that uh, that's gonna happen tomorrow and I also had blood tests done I told you about it and everything looked fine and um, there is no worry whatsoever so I can go ahead and have my surgery tomorrow so the time is at 11 o'clock a.m. so uh, when I went to that meeting last week they gave me a uh, tons of information i have booklets of uh, the procedures i have this is the dnc explaining to you exactly what the dnc is and i am pretty happy and uh, i'm happy because it's something i really wanted to uh, get done i don't know a year or more ago when I found out I had the fibroid and I knew I had to uh, do something about it my gynecologist told me well the fibroid wouldn't stop me from getting pregnant and I I wouldn't have any problem with the fibroid yes uh, it might be uh, the case but I did not get pregnant for two years and I know it's not just because of that my husband's motility is very very low and uh, you know I just want to um, remove some of the things that that are stopping me from getting pregnant. I know my husband's motility is something we have to deal with, and we've been trying to deal with it for a little while. And this fibroid, it's something um, that has to be uh, to be done. So I'm happy because of that but at the same time I'm a little bit scared I'm scared because the doctor that's gonna um, do the surgery she, I don't think she has done it before and uh, she just uh, finished her internship uh, last June and uh, well somebody told me don't worry about that because if she was not good she wouldn't uh, have her license to practice medicine yes I understand that but I wouldn't mind having somebody who has done it before but somebody else told me it's even better when they are so new up to date and with brand new technology and they know more than uh, doctors who who left uh, medic medical school 40 50 years ago so you know it's give and taking it's a balance that's how life is you can never be completely happy you there's always something so I am so excited to have the DNC and um, the DNC many people think it just when you try and to abort a baby but the DNC is also to clean your the lining of your uterus sometimes people have small small fibroids or small uh, um, polyps or they might have endometriosis it's when uh, the lining of your uterus grows everywhere so the doctor will go inside and clean you know uh, the, the lining of your uterus so it's not just uh, for abortion it's you know sometimes you know it happens for other reasons not just for abortion or or when you were pregnant you lost the baby after miscarriage people will have a dnc it can be performed for other reasons too i'm excited because once you have the dnc the doctor will send the um, a little bit of the lining to the lab and they will check it out to see if i have any cancerous cells 
on my uh, uterus because to tell you the truth I've been worried very very much but I have not said anything to anybody because uh, you know you never know what's going on inside because I've been feeling a lot of pain down my legs and on uh, my toes it's just a feely feely uh, uh, funny funny feelings that I've been having for the past uh, at least nine months ten months and I don't complain about it but it worries me a lot. It's not pain, but it is something very strange down my my legs, and it's strange. So I just want to get it done, and uh, we'll wait for the result for the doctor to tell me there's nothing in there. But I'm also scared. I'm scared because surgery to me is never small. Whether it's a day surgery, whether it's a full open heart surgery, there are always risks because uh, you can go with you know just a simple um, DNC. The doctor can um, can uh, poke your uterus or puncture your your uh, um, bladder or anything else and there you are you have more problem than uh, when you walked in the, the, uh, the surgery room so i'm hoping and she told me also the nurse told me the risk that um, comes with this surgery and um this is the risk that I am willing to take. I hope that I'm not going to wake up uh, after the surgery and find out that they punctured my uterus and they had to remove my uterus completely because that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes if it's just a little poke, it can have some bleeding and then they can, uh, you know, do some suture and fix it. But sometimes if it's a big puncture and you're bleeding too much, they do not have a choice. They will have to remove it. So that's why I had to sign uh, some form to say, you know, I agree with the terms of the surgery, but I'm hoping it's not going to happen or if they they puncture your bladder I mean that is really really bad word they cannot you know sit your do anything fixing your bladder you can try but you know you will have problem for the rest of your life they can puncture your bowel and uh, here we go oh my god so I try not to think about it but I try to be um, realistic too because it has happened before you know it could happen to me it could happen to anybody i try to prepare myself in case something happens so i'm keeping my fingers crossed that when i wake up everything will be perfect everything will be good nothing to worry about except the result of uh what the what what uh, they will be doing tomorrow so that's where I'm at. I am so, so excited. I called a few minutes ago and um, the time for the surgery is at 11 o'clock in the morning and they asked me not to uh, put any nail polish on me, to remove all my jewelry, my body uh, jewelries and uh, not to eat anything past midnight, not to drink anything an hour before the surgery. But I talked to uh, a nurse before. She told me not to drink anything three hours before the surgery. But today they told me an hour. So I'm going to try to be on the safe side. I'm not going to drink anything at all three hours before the surgery. So, um, and uh, what else they talked about? They talked about I need somebody to be there with me 24 hours after the surgery and I cannot drive 24 hours up to 24 hours after the surgery I cannot drink any alcohol from now until probably Friday which is not a big deal at all I don't have to drink anything with alcohol and also uh, they gave me this uh, brochure about you know how to prevent um, infection no this is not the one I have one how to prevent infection after surgery, you know. So uh, I am uh, ready. I'm trying not to stress out. I just cannot wait for tomorrow to uh, get up and go and get it done. And uh, I hope God will guide this doctor to have it done the way it should be.
so that's my news i will update you as soon as i can probably not tomorrow not the day after maybe before the weekend maybe friday i'll update you on what's going on and hopefully i have some good news to tell you thanks guys for watching and uh, keep me in your prayers like i said surgeries are surgery bye